keep it going for James Payne, everybody. <laughs> Hey, oh man, it is nice to be here. Uh, yeah, I am from Albuquerque. I grew up there, went to school there, moved to Miami. And like, I'm used to people screaming at me in Spanish, okay? That's a given, all right? But I was very surprised when people started me, started screaming at me in Spanish to vote Republican. You guys know that's a unique thing down here, right? That's very, very strange. All right, a bunch of Trump fans in the crowd tonight. It's fine. Uh, I, uh, yeah, I'm not from around here. I move around a lot. I mean, you know, you know, I move around. I got family all over the place, and people ask me sometimes. They're like, "Hey, don't you get, don't you get homesick?" I'm like, "Well, you know, I miss people, but uh, I think, uh, you know, people say like home is where the heart is. I disagree. I say that uh, home is where you feel the most comfortable pooping." I think we can all agree on this if we really think about it. Uh, I feel at home in this city because I've got an apartment in Coconut Grove with a window that looks out on a palm tree, some rats and like squirrels running around in there. I can close the door, not feel judged, you know, while I read my phone for 38 minutes. <laughs> my girlfriend and I are walking down the street the other day, and I don't like to be prejudiced, I'm not, I don't like to make assumptions about people, but I am gonna say that this dude was homeless because he was taking a poop on the sidewalk, okay? <laughs> All right, so we're, we're making that leap. Uh, my girlfriend, you know, she recoils in horror. She's like, <gasps> and I was like, whoa, hold on. You know, let's think about this logically. Home is where you feel the most, like, we're his guest, okay? <laughs> he probably, he's not gonna use that dollar for crack. He just needs something to wipe with. That was a cheap crack joke, actually. Okay, uh, I don't know. I, I, I really enjoy doing comedy. I do a, lot, I do a fair amount of comedy. Uh, if you see me after the show, uh, try not to say anything dumb, okay? Just like, <laughs> I know, like, think about, like, I, people come up to me and they're like, they say, like, lots of nice things, and then sometimes it's just like, they think it's nice and it's not. Uh, I had this one girl come up to me after a show, she's like, hey, has anybody ever told you that you look like Chris Pratt? I was like, no. <laughs> but thank you, that's amazing. They tapped that dude to be the new Indiana Jones, right? Zero Dark Thirty, Jurassic World? I was like, thank you, that's amazing. She's like, no, none of those movies. Did you ever see the first season of Parks and Rec? <laughs> yeah, when he was a fat loser taking advantage of his more successful girlfriend, that's the one you remind me of. That's remarkably perceptive for a stranger. I don't know. All right, guys, uh, I think I'm just gonna leave you on this note. Uh, <clears throat> 